Hi, this is John Bowen, and I wanted to make a quick video showing the new multi-mode operating system that we're working on for the Solaris coming up here shortly. The uh, idea is that we always had these four enable part buttons, but now we truly do have them as parts uh, instead of just representing the four VCAs on a single sound. And let's look at, uh, we're in preset mode, so that is lit. And now the new preset screen has two new buttons on uh, labels that you haven't seen before. Part, which I can increment one, two, three, four that way. Or I can also hold down shift and use the up down buttons to go through parts there. And let's look at the multi button and this will give a, a clear picture of what's in each part. So the original preset was just this sound, which is that sound. And the other three parts are now just loaded with init sounds. And so what we'll do is we'll show you how to build uh, out of the old preset, a new preset, but it's a multi preset. First thing you want to see is that the part's enabled. It has a voice assignment, volume, velocity, and uh, keyboard windowing or zoning. And then the second page, the channel it's on, transposition, fine tuning, panning, and ARP enabled. And we'll, uh, I expect, have a, another page or two for other parameters. So let's get back here and what we need to do is think about the voice allocation. So the Solaris comes with 10 voices, uh, five DSPs producing two voices each. So all the voice assignment has to be done per DSP. In other words, two voices at a time. So for this sound, I'm gonna assign four voices. So we'll have. And then we're gonna to go to the next part, part two and I'm gonna to go to the part load button. And here I can dial up different banks and different presets this way. So let's go here and let's load in this one. And uh, to do that, I'll go over to see that the inner button is flashing. So press that and now Go back here and we have to enable it and assign a number of voices. So I'll do four voices for that. And now. So now we've layered those two parts. And if we want to just listen to one, let's disable the first one. And of course you can set the zones and so forth we could say we want this sound to appear above g3 so but below there it's just the first sound and above there the sounds are layered let's increment to the next part Part three, again, we'll do a part load. And uh, let's pick something else from this bank. Press enter. Go back to multi and again, we have to enable it and assign what voices are remaining out of the pool. So it's a 10 voice pool. We used four on the first part, four on the second part. So we have two left. <clears throat> and if we solo it. We have that. <clears throat> we put all three on. And again, could window it with velocity and uh, like that. But we could save this entire object now as one of the new multi-presets. 
Also, you'll notice that the current part indicates what is active on the front panel. So as I switch to the parts, you'll see the sections change appropriately. So if you want to edit any of the sounds, uh, you can just edit them when you display the part and then save that as a new multi-preset. So that's it. I hope you got information that you were interested in and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.